Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Ayuna. I go by Ayuna the Gamer on social media, and today I'm bringing you a shelving unit tutorial, which is inspired by the IKEA Kallax range. All you're going to need to create these shelving units is the base game and the tool mod. If you don't know what Tool is, it's a mod created by Twisted Mexi that lets you freely move, scale and rotate objects in The Sims 4. I will put the link to where you can download it from in the description box. If you don't want to download the mod but you do want some of these shelving units in your game, I'll be uploading some versions of these to the gallery and you can download them there. You do not need the Tool mod or any custom content to download and use them. If you are following along with the tool mod, just make sure you have it installed and enabled before you begin. So before we begin, let's put in some cheats. So Control shift c testing cheats true, bb.moveobjects on, and escape to get out of the cheat window. Okay, so I'm going to start with just a blank room. Uh, you can do this in whichever room you want. And let me just put some lights in so it's not a uh, pitch black canvas. That'll do. So the item we're going to be using to create these shelves is the Immaculate Shelf. So search for the Immaculate in Displays. And we want this shelf here. So let's start off by making a 4x2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see I was just letting that snap to where it naturally snaps on the grid. And I'll take a different colour, just so you can see what I'm doing here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to go to live mode and I'm going to shift click tool toggle active object and now holding alt I'm going to select all of those brown shelves and then I'm going to shift click tool and rotate so you can see it now brings up an axis for each of those five shelves and you want it to be the one that's against the wall so keep clicking change axis until you get the one that's going along the wall we're going to rotate by 90 degrees and if we now do shift click to toggle group that will deselect all of those brown shelves and you can now see that they are vertical and I also want this shelf here to touch the floor so I'm going to shift click to toggle active object alt click to select this one as well shift click to elevate and now minus 0 0.05 and that shelf now touches the ground I'll just change the colours back to grey. And now you can see something that kind of resembles an IKEA Kallax shelf. They're not as deep as a Kallax shelf would be. Usually those are as deep as they are wide so that you can put cube inserts into them. But for the sake of this tutorial I am just keeping the shelves the size that they originally were so that it can be as simple as possible and so that it's easier to clutter. So let's go ahead and create some more. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and just pick up another immaculate shelf. And for this one let's make a 2 by 2 so 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to go to live mode, shift click tool, toggle active object, alt, alt click, and then shift click tool, rotate, 90 degrees, shift click tool, toggle group, shift click tool, elevate, and minus 0.05. And let's do some more. How about a 2x4? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we're going to go to live mode again. Just click tool, toggle active object. And 
holding alt and clicking all the shelves I want to select. Shift click, tool, rotate, 90 degrees. Shift click, tool, toggle group, and shift click, tool, elevate, minus 0 0.05. And let's do one more. Let's do how about a three by two. So let's do eyedropper tool, immaculate shelf, and place those like that. And then let's do one, two, three, four. Lift mode, shift click, tool, toggle active object, alt, click, alt, click, alt, click, shift click, tool, rotate, and 90 degrees, okay. Shift click, tool, toggle grip, shift click, tool, toggle active object, alt click, shift click, tool, elevate, minus 0 0.05, and shift click tool toggle group so now we have basically the starting points for all of our calyx shelf knockoffs and for the rest of the video i'm going to do some clutter methods and also some minor adjustments you can make to the shelves to make them a bit less glitchy and a little bit more realistic so the first method we'll use to clutter these shelves is using items that don't snap to shelves. So let's go storage and let's choose skill binders and bookend for example. So as you can see this doesn't start snapping to any of the shelves. So I'm going to press control 9, lift this up and let's put it in here. You can see this is slightly too big so I'm going to go to live mode, shift click, tool, scale. And I'm going to do 0 0.9 and that will shrink it slightly. Then I'm going to go back to build mode. I'm going to click this, hold alt, and then I'm just going to move this so it's resting against the edge of the shelf. And let's choose something else. Let's go decorations. Let's take this plant for example. I'm going to scale it down once using the left square bracket, control 9 to lift it up. Everyone loves Baby Yoda, let's put Baby Yoda in. I'm going to shrink it down twice, control 9. And if I hold, hold alt, it gives me free movement, and if I click and hold, I can rotate it. So. Just rotate you, so there we go. And just another plant, maybe. Let's go leafy greens, scale it down twice, control 9, and pop you in there. Okay, so now we have kind of bare minimum clutter here. I'm going to go to live mode and I'm going to shift click tool toggle. And I'm going to select all these shelves and their contents. And I'm just going to adjust this slightly. Shift click to elevate. I'm going to go up by 0 0.025. Shift click to elevate. And now this should be slightly more even. And the second method for filling up these shelves is to use these fake drawer fronts I've created. So if we go to build mode, go to build and then styled rooms and I will upload this to the gallery. I've created some replicas of the sort of calyx inserts you actually get from IKEA. So we've got some drawers, we've got the drona box. I actually have a lot of these in my actual house. Uh, I hide everything in these. And we've also got the sort of Branas wicker baskets. So I'm gonna take two of these and you just need to pick from this and lump it in here. So I'm just gonna roughly put it where it needs to go. 
It doesn't have to be exact, it's about to move. I'm just holding Alt to move it along the wall. So scaling down a square bracket and then holding Alt to place it behind and then click. And now these are slightly too big so I'm actually going to scale them down so I'm going to shift click tool toggle. Shift click tool scale and 0 0.92 is about right. And deselect. So there's a couple ways you can move these. One of the common ways is to just delete the wall and then take the hand tool and hold alt and then place them where you want them. So maybe this one here. And then for the last one I'm actually going to show you the other way you can do this which is using tools gravity pull option. So if I shift click tool toggle and then I hold alt and I click in the direction I want it to go uh, it will move towards the mouse where I click so if it's closer it moves less and if it's further away it moves a bit more so this helps you really precisely position things where you want them to go and then when you're roughly happy with that I'm going to shift click tool toggle and I'm going to shift click to elevate and lift these all up by 0 0.0 let's do 5 maybe not, let's go let's go point zero. 1 that's a bit better so now we have what looks like a semi-realistic Kallax shelf with some little wicker baskets inside. So I've just put some little drawer inserts in the bottom shelves here and now I'm just going to go over the final clutter method which is using objects which snap to shelves. So for example this carefree succulent, as you can see it's snapping to parts of the shelf, I can put it on the top, I can also put it on the sides. It often says it's not positioned right if you try and put it on a sideways one. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. Uh, some people might use the red shelf mod but in this case I'm just going to do the kind of trial and error method. So I'm going to delete the vertical shelves and I'm just going to move these along. I'm kind of cheating here slightly because I can tell roughly where the shelves used to be because of these drawer inserts but another way to tell is because we've just used the standard size of shelf and it snaps to the grid roughly um, each of these vertical shelves kind of almost lines up with these grid lines so the dotted line from the middle and then again here they're just all slightly to the right of the grid so let's take the succulent for example, I'm going to scale it down, I'm going to click hold alt and just move it to roughly where I want it to be. So let's say I'll put you like this and let's get another snap to grid clutter item, how about a box of tissues and again just holding alt, I'm going to place this here. And then how about some pictures, so let's take the pear, maybe like that, and the apple, whoops, holding alt, move it over, and that'll do roughly. I'm just going to put these back and take the eyedropper and make three more shelves. Then I'm going to go back to live mode, shift click tool, toggle, alt click, alt click, shift click tool, rotate 90 degrees, shift click tool, 
toggle group and I'm gonna tool elevate minus zero point zero five and I also want to lift these up slightly so shift click tool toggle select 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 shift click tool elevate zero point zero two five shift click tool toggle group So now I've got semi-cluttered shelves and the last thing I want to talk about is getting rid of this kind of flicker, this kind of glitchy flicker you have where the shelves overlap. So to get rid of this kind of one, two, three side part here, I'm going to go shift click tool move and I want it to move slightly in the direction of X and it doesn't need to move Y at all so it's going to go 0 0.001 and 0 and as you can see that's kind of jumped down there but this happens quite a lot actually when you try and move things with tool it kind of forces them to the ground but you just have to tool elevate 0 0.5 to get that back up to where it needs to be. And then for these little crossover parts here, I'm just going to shift click to toggle, shift click to elevate, and I'm just going to minus 0 0.001, shift click to toggle. So now at least the left side and the top side are fixed. If you want, if it bothers you, this little flicker here, you can also move the inner shelves back a little bit to get rid of that flicker. Well that brings us to the end of the video, if you made it this far well done, it's a bit of a long one actually. If you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, bye!